You see a seashore. I see a seashore. Very good. Describe the seashore for me. Very big waves. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. How big are these waves? Huge. Mm -hmm. How do you feel as you see these waves? In awe. Mm -hmm. It's kind of deserted. Mm -hmm. Look around you. What else do you see there? What's around? I'm flying. Mm -hmm. I'm, Very on, good. I'm on top of. I'm, I'm watching everything from from above. Very good. Do you feel that you have a body as you're flying? I'm a bird. I'm a bird. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What do you look like? Dark colored. Mm -hmm. What color are you? A seagull. Mm -hmm. Are you flying? Yes. Mm -hmm. How does that feel to fly with the breeze in your face? Liberating. Mm -hmm. Liberating. Liberating. Mm -hmm. Where are you flying to today? Describe your flight. I'm looking for food. Mm -hmm. It's so desolate. I can't find anything. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? I'm sad. Mm -hmm. I have children. Birds, little birds, baby birds that I have to take care of. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? I'm female. How many birds do you have? How many babies? Three. So tell me what happens next. The seashore is not pretty. It's all desolate. Where do you go? I keep flying in circles, find food. I can't find any food. What are you looking for? Fish. <clears throat> what happens next? Take me through the scene. The more you talk, the more you'll see. Everything is dead. Mm -hmm. Why is everything dead? Humans. What happened? Humans. Humans? What did the humans do? <laughs> There's no conscience. No conscience for Mother Earth. How are you f affected by this? I will die soon. I can't take care of my kids. I can't take care of myself. There's no food. Everything is desolate. Everything is destruction. Look around you. What does it look like? It's desolate. Oh, there's plastic all over. There's plastic all over? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where is this plastic? 
I'm at the Pacific Rim. Mm -hmm. What do you see? It's plastic all over. It's plastic. It's an island made of plastic. Mm -hmm. Right on the ocean. no life. Do you see any other birds around? No. Oh, I'm there by myself. What do you imagine has happened? Humans destroyed the earth with consumption and lack of conscience. I'm hurting. Tell me what you're hurting about. About the desolation on Earth. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why you chose this lifetime. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go back in time now before you chose this lifetime as the seagull. I'm going to count from five back to one. When I get to number one, we'll find out why you chose this incarnation. Five. Going back now. Four. Three. Two. And one. Be there now. What do you see in your mind's eye? Where are you? I see a ship. I see a ship. Tell me more. It's a pirate ship. Mm -hmm. Where are you seeing this from? We're in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Do you have a body there? Oh. I'm the captain of this pirate. Mm -hmm. I mean, the captain of this pirate ship. You're the captain? Yes. Mm -hmm. I look like Captain Hook. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is your name? Mm -hmm. Barry, Barry, mm -hmm. Barry. Barry, what do you look like? The Captain Hook. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look down at your feet. What are you wearing? Yeah, I have a wooden leg. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. How are you dressed? I have a pirate outfit. Mm -hmm. I have a beard and a mustache and a pirate hat. Where are you going today, Barry? We're trying to find some land. Mm -hmm. We're lost at sea. Who are you with? A crew. How many are in your crew? Not many. Mm -hmm. What's happened to them? Died. Mm -hmm. Most of them have died. What have they died of? Famine. Mm -hmm. How long have you been lost at sea? Months. How do you survive for so many months out at sea? What do you eat? Fish. Mm -hmm. 
So let's see what happens next, Barry. I'd like for you to close that scene, and let's go to the next important scene of that same lifetime when something is happening. Be there now. I'm at land. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What is this place? It looks like a deserted island. Mm -hmm. What do you see there? I see pretty much. How do you call that? Marshes? Mm -hmm. You see marshes? green bushes mm -hmm. what state of health are you in Barry I'm strong mm -hmm. what do you feel about landing here on this island hopeless mm -hmm. it's just me What's happened to your crew? I don't know. Guess they died or something. They went away. I don't know. They're not with me. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what happens on this island. like a castaway. Mm -hmm. Did you lose your ship? No, it's there. Mm -hmm. I see it. Mm -hmm. It's by the shore. Doesn't work though. So let's find out what happens on this island. I'd like for you to fast forward and find the next important scene from this lifetime. I died mm -hmm. old and alone mm -hmm. by myself. So I'd like for you to follow that soul's path now as it leaves that body. And allow yourself to drift and float and tell me what happens to your soul. Where do you go next? What do you see in your mind's eye? I'm in space. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Describe this place for me. It's just a void. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Free. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to drift and float in this void, finding comfort in it, finding the freedom that you're looking for, and begin to energize yourself. And let's see what happens next. I'm going to count from five to one again. I'd like for you to find the next relevant lifetime that is affecting the night and now. Five, drifting and floating. Four, through time and space. Three, almost there now. Two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? I'm at my wedding. Mm -hmm. I'm at my wedding. Describe it for me. What's happening? I already married. I'm at a reception, the back of a church. Mm -hmm. I'm in a carriage. Mm -hmm. 
school were you with in that carriage? I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Excited. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? 23. Mm -hmm. What is your name? Mary Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. So where are you going, Mary Elizabeth? I'm being taken to my reception. Who's taking you? Some horsemen mm -hmm. in a carriage. Mary Elizabeth, what year is this? And how? And where are you? On the back. Mm -hmm. I'm in a. I'm in a backyard mm -hmm. of a church. Mm -hmm. So let's fast forward and see what happens when you arrive at the reception. My butler is there. He opens the door for me. Come from a wealthy family. Mm -hmm. What do you call your butler? Theodore. Mm -hmm. What happens next? A small gathering of family and friends. Very small. Mm -hmm. My husband is really tall. Very distinguished. What is his name? Carl. Mm -hmm. Can you see Carl's eyes? He's got eyeglasses. Mm -hmm. The eyes are the window to the soul. <gasps> Do you recognize those eyes? Yes. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Keith's eyes. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what happens next. How do you feel? I'm happy about getting married. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Anything significant happen at this reception? No. All right. So let's close that scene. And let's go to another event in your lifetime that is important, something that impacted your life. Be there now. Very jealous man. Mm -hmm. He's a jealous man. Very jealous. He's very jealous. What is he jealous about? Other men. Mm -hmm. I'm flirt. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Do you enjoy the company of other men? No, I don't. I haven't um, cheated on him, but he thinks I have. Mm -hmm. So what happens? He's really, really mad. Mm -hmm. 
What is he saying? Really awful things, accusing me of things I haven't done. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Afraid. Mm -hmm. It's not the first time. What has he done to you, Mary Elizabeth? He slapped me on my face before. What happens next? He's choking me. Now you'll be able to see this as an observer and not have any feelings. Allow yourself to now switch positions and just observe this scene and tell me what happens. He killed me. In front of our little boy. Mary Elizabeth, allow your soul to leave that body. And as you look back at that life, there's a purpose and a lesson to it. What was the purpose of that lifetime? Why did you choose to be born in that wealthy family with an abusive husband? It's not clear. Mm -hmm. What lesson did you learn from it? It's not clear. All right. So let's now go to the place where you go in between lives. I'd like for you to leave that body behind and let's travel to the place where you meet with your guides. I'd like for you now to follow the soul's path and tell me what you see as you travel there. Where do you go after you leave that body? I see a tunnel. I see a tunnel. Mm -hmm. The light at the end of it. Mm -hmm. What color is that light? Golden. Golden. Beautiful. So describe this whole scene for me. Tell me what happens. There are a lot of entities mm -hmm. on both sides of me. Mm -hmm. I can't see them because it's dark, but I can feel them. Mm -hmm. How do they feel to you? Protective. Mm -hmm. Welcoming. What happens next? You see my dad. Mm -hmm. What does he say to you? Welcome. Mm -hmm. It's Spanish. Mm -hmm. I've missed you, he says. Mm -hmm. What message does Dad have today for you? There's nothing to forgive. Mm -hmm. Ask him a question if you'd like. I'm asking him if he's not suffering anymore, and he's not. Mm -hmm. What does Dad tell you? He said he's not suffering. Mm -hmm. He's in a better place. Very good. Let's ask Dad if he knows why you were shown that lifetime of Mary Elizabeth. Does he know why? 
to give me strength. Mm -hmm. What did you have to learn from that lifetime? Putting up with social etiquette. Let's ask Dad if he was in that lifetime with you. Did he know you then, in that lifetime? No. Uh -huh. So let's ask Dad if he can bring forward one who can answer those questions. Allow him to just stand aside. Michael is here. Mm -hmm. Is Archangel Michael willing to help in this session today? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's ask Archangel Michael the significance of the lifetime of the seagull. Why was she shown that lifetime? This is the path of humanity. Mm -hmm. If nothing is done. The way things are going. Desolation. Mm -hmm. Destruction. So is this an aspect of Menida, that, that seagull? Is that a part of her? <sighs> yes. Uh -huh. What can she learn from that seagull? Awareness. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that she needs to do in her lifetime now to help avoid this type of future? Empower people mm -hmm. with awareness and knowledge. Is she supposed to be doing something in this lifetime? Yes. Mm -hmm. What should she be doing to help people, empower them, make them aware? Retreat. Mm -hmm. She's so knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. She has so much to say, so much to share. Why is she not saying it? She's not clear. Mm -hmm. Michael, why does she feel so scattered? Why is she not clear? What's causing that? Lack of focus. Mm -hmm. What's causing the lack of focus? She wants to be everywhere. Mm -hmm. She wants to call the shots all the time. Is she able to do that? No. Mm -hmm. It seems that she was calling the shots when she was a captain of that pirate ship. What happened to her then? She capsized. Mm -hmm. Is that why she was shown? That pirate's life? Yes. Was she allowing the crew to help? Or was she calling all the shots? She was calling all the shots. Mm -hmm. Or he was calling all the shots. Mm -hmm. 
So is that why you showed her that life? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look where it got Barry. So now she has another chance. Yes. What kind of guidance are you giving her and her guides giving her? Should she be calling all the shots all the time? No. Mm -hmm. So what would allow her <coughs> to sail smoothly through rugged seas without having to call the shots? What kind of help should she need? Does she have a crew? Somewhat. Mm -hmm. Well, who's on her non-physical crew? Who are they? Who's guiding her on the other side of the veil? The heart of Gaia? Mm-hmm. How does she connect with Gaia? She has a sacred connection with Gaia. Mm -hmm. Is she using that connection? Not enough. Mm -hmm. What should she be doing? She has the ability to connect with nature. be connected with nature. Mm -hmm. In what way? Trees. Mm -hmm. In what other way? Ocean. Mm -hmm. next What is causing that cough? <coughs> Where is that cough located in your body? <coughs> it's my chest. All right, so I'm going to bring that energy up. I'm going to bring that energy up, 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 up. <coughs> and you can express yourself now. Are you male or female <coughs> energy? Male. Male. What is your name, please? What can I call you? Lewis. Lewis. How long have you been there <coughs> with Menida? Since 
several years. Mm -hmm. Lois, how old are you? <clears throat> 18. Mm -hmm. Did you know this woman? No. No. What was going on in her life that allowed you to enter her? Abuse. Abuse. Mm -hmm. Was it your <clears throat> abuse or her abuse? Her. Uh -huh. What was she going through at that time? Calling our names, mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. And what did that do to her <clears throat> that allowed you to enter? Broke her. It broke her. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, Lewis, you say you're 18. How did you lose your body? How did you die? In a factory. <laughs> what happened in that factory? I fell. Mm -hmm. And what happened? I fell in a huge cylinder and cut me. Just cut me in pieces. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and what happened to your soul? Where did you go? What have you been doing to Manite all this time? <coughs> Why have you making her cough? <coughs> What's the cough all about? I don't want her to talk. You don't want her to talk. Why not? Because <clears throat> she's powerful. Mm -hmm. How does that affect you? <coughs> <coughs> what does her power <coughs> affect you? She's got too much knowledge. Too much knowledge. <clears throat> and, and and why does that bother you, Lewis? Oh. <coughs> 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 what does that bother you? <coughs> What is it about her power that scares you? <coughs> Why are you afraid of her <coughs> speaking? <coughs> I didn't get my last say. Mm -hmm. Just died accidentally. Mm -hmm. Well, you have your <laughs> you have the ability to have your last say now. What would you like to tell them? You have a voice now. <clears throat> But there's something, Lewis, about that, <coughs> that death that's still bothering you. <coughs> Do you think it's fair that you died early? No. No. So where have you been holding all of that anger? On her chest. Mm -hmm. Her lungs. Yes. <coughs> Lewis, would you like to give me all of that anger? so that you don't have to hold it anymore? Yes. 
All right, so I'm going to put my hand on your chest, Lewis, and I want you to go ahead and go through your entire body, mind, and soul, and release that anger into me so I could send it to the universe for healing. Give it all to me. <coughs> Tell me when I have it all. All right, I'm going to take it and send it to the universe for healing. <coughs> now, Lewis, what would you like to put in its place? What would you like to put in there to make you feel better? Love. Let's put lots of love in there. I'm putting a fire hose of love into your heart and feel it pumping. Acceptance. Mm -hmm. Feel it going in there. What else? Peace. Mm -hmm. What else? Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Allow it to flow. And I'm going to tap your forehead, Lewis, and let's seal that in. And now that we have all of that love and peace and forgiveness <clears throat> in your heart, Lewis, let's do something even more powerful. I'd like for you, Lewis, to look inside of your own heart and find within it that light of the Creator. <coughs> this is the light of, of God. And I'd like for you to find that light and tell me when you see it. I see it. Mm -hmm. Now, Lewis, make that light bigger. <coughs> make that light bigger, Lewis. Make it bigger and bigger until you're as big as the sun. <coughs> Feel yourself expanding more and more. Tell me how that feels. Right. Mm -hmm. And now that you feel that light, <coughs> I'd like for you now to go back to that moment when you died, all cut up, and I'd like for you to use that light to heal that body, Lewis. Go ahead and begin healing that body. You have the power now to do that. Use that light to completely heal that body. And tell me how that feels. Warm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel whole again, Lewis? Yes. Very good. So now, Lewis, I'd like for you to go through her body and begin to pull from her body, extract all of your energy. And I'd like Manita to go from within and begin cutting all of the cords attaching Lewis to your body. And Lewis, I'd like for you to replace all of your energy that was causing her to <laughs> cough with that beautiful white light. Go ahead and begin sending that white light into her lungs, into her throat. Let's clear out all of that constriction, all of that energy that was allowing her, not allowing her to speak. Let's fill it with that white light. And how does that feel, Lois, to be able to be so empowered? Good. Very good. So now, Lewis, I'd like for you to go <laughs> up to the top of her head. Archangel Michael is right there waiting for you. Tell me when you see him. I see him. Mm -hmm. Take his hand, and he's going to take you straight back to the light, back to source. And tell me who is there waiting for you. Who's there to greet you? My aunt. Mm -hmm. Very good. Lewis, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now I'd like Archangel Raphael to step forward. And I'd like him to go ahead and begin <coughs> using his green light to completely anoint her with his green healing light. Filling all of the spaces where Lewis was inhabiting before. Let's smooth out the lungs the air passages, the throat, and let's clear out all of that mucus, all of that 
restriction, allowing her to breathe <coughs> and speak clearly. And I'd like Archangel Raphael <coughs> to continue working on her at night to continue clearing her lungs and her chest. And I'd like to ask now the higher self how you see her body. How does her body look now? It could be better. It could be better. So tell me what's going on in her body that she needs <coughs> taken care of. <coughs> What's going on in her body? She needs to take care of herself. Mm -hmm. What is she not doing? Diet. Mm -hmm. What's she putting in her <coughs> body that is not good for her? Processed foods. Processed foods. Mm -hmm. Is that causing any of this coughing and... Anything else that's going on in her body? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What kind of processed food is she is bothering her the most? Dairies. Dairies. Mm -hmm. Anything that comes in a box. Anything in a box. Okay, so what would you like <coughs> to have her eat instead? More fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Sprouts. Grape juices. Mm-hmm. Her liver. What's going on with her liver? There's resentment and anger there. Mm-hmm. What is it causing? It's causing that cyst she has on her breast. Ah. So now we know where that comes from. So what is the cyst trying to tell her? Release your mm -hmm. anger. All right. So <coughs> <coughs> let's go to that liver and tell me what color is this energy in her liver that's causing all of this? It's red. It's red. What color should it be? Green. Green. Very good. So I'd like for you to go down into your liver, see yourself getting very tiny, see yourself standing in front of that liver, and what would you like to use to make that liver, liver go from red anger rage <coughs> to green, to a peaceful green? What would you like to use? We can use a fire hose of light or water, what would you like to use? Golden light. Very good. So go ahead and begin shooting that golden light into that liver, dissolving all of that anger, all of that resentment. We don't need to hold that any longer. As you can see, the liver is like the filter of the body and it's been trapped, trapping all of that resentment and anger there. And tell me when you're done. Done. Very good. How does that liver look now? It will be a work in progress. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to ask on her behalf <coughs> for the non-physical physicians to begin working on her. Let's begin working on that liver so that it could filter out and send into the rest of her body pure energy, not holding back any of this resentment and anger, allowing it to just dissolve it and allow it to let it go. So I'd like to ask now, how is her health looking now that she understands where this is coming, where this came from? It can all be reversed, mm -hmm. but she needs to do her work. Very good. What kind of work does she need to do now? She needs to do her daily yoga, mm -hmm. daily meditation, daily visualizations, and having a natural whole foods diet. Mm -hmm. Good. Now what's causing the weight issues? Not wanting to let go of her. Mm -hmm. Grudges. She has a hard time holding grudges. Mm -hmm. Why does she hold on these to these grudges like 
It seems like she <coughs> holds on to them like a little collection of dolls. Yes. Why does she hold on? Why is she... It's just the way she is. Mm -hmm. What does she gain from holding on <coughs> to this? Disease. Mm -hmm. What does she emotionally gain from it? Turmoil. Mm -hmm. And why should does she enjoy punishing herself with this turmoil? Where is this coming from? Lack of self-worth. Mm -hmm. Let's go back in time and find out where this all began. It could be in this lifetime or another lifetime. <coughs> what has caused her? to punish herself. Show her the picture. What do you see in your mind's eye? I'm in a witch trial. I'm in a witch trial. Mm -hmm. I'm being hung. Tell me more. They're accusing me of acting with the devil. Mm -hmm. I just love nature. What is your name? <laughs> Odelia. Odelia. What year is it, Odelia? Sixteen forty-nine. Mm -hmm. Where are you? What country is this? Salem, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Salem. Very good. So, Dila, let's go back in time and let's find out <coughs> what you did to cause these people to think you're a witch. See yourself before this trial. I was talking to trees. Talking to trees. What else did you do? Rituals on the earth, mm -hmm. on the dirt, casting circles. What did these circles do? Connect me with earth. Mm -hmm. So Adelia, who is the one who accused you of being a witch? What happened? A neighbor. A neighbor. Take a look at that neighbor's eyes. Do you recognize those eyes? The eyes of the wind of the soul. Do you recognize them or not? I don't think so. Okay. So what happens after that? What do you <coughs> think? I was deep in the woods mm -hmm. and he happened to just walk by and see me talking to the trees and the circle cast it. Mm -hmm. What happened next? You tell me who would tell. How old are you there? Young. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Or seventeen. <clears throat> what happens next? a trial. 
who is there with you. It's a whole group of people from the village. Mm -hmm. My mother was crying. I want to see my father. We have a little sister too. Mm -hmm. What happens next? My mother is crying, pleading for them not to hang me. It's a lost cause. What are you feeling? Fear. Mm -hmm. Shameful. I don't think I did anything wrong, but they all see me with hateful eyes. Mm -hmm. So I feel ashamed. So as you stand there in that trial, Delia, do you make any vows to yourself? Vows? Mm-hmm. Do you make any decisions <clears throat> about life and how it should be lived? As to how others should treat you? I have to conform to society. Mm -hmm. And when you conform to society, Odelia, what does that do to your soul? Crushes me. Mm -hmm. Do you feel grounded anymore when you have to conform <coughs> to society? I feel lost. Mm -hmm. What else do you feel? Despair. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm trapped in a cage. I can't be myself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what happens to your soul? Do you scatter your soul, Cordelia? Where do you send it to? Anywhere but here. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself now to just view your death. You don't have to experience it. Just view it and tell me what happened. hanging me mm -hmm. with another one, another, another witch, another person accused of witchcraft. Mm -hmm. They hang us first and then they burn us at the stake. And as you watch <clears> this, <throat> where are you watching it from? From the sidelines. Mm -hmm. with the rest of the people. And where do you go after your body is gone? Back to Earth. Mm -hmm. Where do you go when you go back to Earth? <clears throat> and what happens to all of those other parts that you scattered? What 
what happened to all of those pieces that you sent away during that trial? They're back with me. Mm, very good. So let's allow yourself to look around and make sure that there are no parts that are still scattered. Let's take a look. Do a scan and see if there's any other parts that are missing. No. Very good. <clears throat> so now that we can see that this is the part of you that feels that it needs to conform to society. Can you see how, Odelia, you have been affecting Minida all this time? Yes. Would you give her some advice? Does she need to continue to feel punished? No. Mm -hmm. Tell her the truth about that. Mm -hmm. Does she need to be the one playing the victim all the time, Odelia? No. No. Tell her the truth. How should she be acting with people now? She doesn't need to um, kiss ass mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. She's not going to be hanged, is she? No. Mm -hmm. Is it okay for her to talk to the trees anymore? Can she do that? She has that ability. Mm -hmm. She's done it before. So would you connect that part of you with her? So that she can once again continue your work of connecting with the earth, connecting with the trees, allowing herself to be the healer that she truly is. And allow yourself now, Adelia, to disconnect the parts that caused her fear, the parts that caused her shame. Let's disconnect that because we don't need that part of that lifetime anymore. Allow it to just drift away like a boat being pulled away from the pier. Allow the rope to be taken off the pier and just have that lifetime float away. Done. Very good. Thank you so much. Now. Minaida had different questions, now that we understand where all of these things came from. <clears throat> she had questions about her career and what she needed to be doing with her career. What's her real purpose? What's her passion in this lifetime? What should she be focusing on so that she could be financially secure when she gets to be 50? Why did she come here? What's her purpose? Her purpose is to teach others. Mm -hmm. She has so much knowledge in her. That's what Lewis said. Yes. What is she supposed to be teaching? learning and learning and learning but what she should be teaching others she should teach others about what's going on mm -hmm. in the government and on the earth 
She has the ability to lift people's veils. Mm -hmm. So many people are asleep. And because of her, people can actually knowledge, real knowledge, about all the corruption that is happening, and all the destruction that Mother Gaia is going through. Would you show her a picture in her mind of how powerful she is? She is a master manifester. Mm. And she knows it. But she second guesses herself all the time. Mm -hmm. What was making her second guess herself? Self-worth. Mm -hmm. Her lack of self-worth. Was that coming from that lifetime? That's cumulative from many lifetimes. Mm -hmm. Do we need to have those lifetimes connected to her anymore? Reminding her of what she couldn't do? Absolutely not. All right, so let's disconnect all of those lifetimes and only leave those that are empowering her, that remind her of the manifesto that she is. And now that we have done this exercise today, do you feel that she will be more focused now? Yes. Mm -hmm. So can I ask on her behalf for a guide that will continue working with her on her focus to where instead of the word scattered, that word now is eliminated from her mind. And let's replace that with focus. Razor sharp focus, like a laser beam. So that she can now, whenever she is working on anything, can manifest faster and more powerfully. Gabriel reached out to her. Mm -hmm in a dream. How is Gabriel helping her? He could help if she asks for him his help. Mm -hmm. She hasn't done that. Can we ask for Gabriel's <coughs> assistance today? Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and request that Archangel Gabriel step forward. And I'd like for you to officially ask Gabriel for assistance. And let me know what happens. You're smiling. Mm -hmm. Is Gabriel willing and able to assist Manita today? Absolutely. Very good. Thank you. And then what will he be helping her with? <clears throat> Focus. Focus. Very good. Very good. Would you tell me who is playing the flute when she meditates? One of her guides. Mm -hmm. Does that guide have a name? Is it a male or a female guide? It's male. Male. 
Mm -hmm. Does he have a name? There are two guides mm -hmm. that do that. Mm -hmm. It's an Indian god, a Hindu god. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the other one is a Native American chief. She knew from a past life. Mm -hmm. A Cherokee. What are their roles in her life? Guides. Mm -hmm. And why do they play the flute? Let her know that they are aware, mm -hmm. that they listen to her. And how can she use these guides moving forward now that she is aware that they're there for her? Ask for their help. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Good. Now, when she was very young, she heard the word indigo. What is the significance of that? She came from the Pleiades. Mm -hmm. She remembered that. For what purpose did she come here? Is she teaching them now? Yes, mm -hmm. but it's limiting. Mm -hmm. She could do so much. So how can she connect with her home and her abilities to help open her up even more? Crystals. All right. What crystal should she be using? Amethyst. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chrysocola. Mm -hmm. Labradorite. When she uses these crystals, will she be able to connect more? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So can we now begin that connection? She is wearing one of those crystals now. Yes. Let's have her connect. It's close enough to her throat chakra, to where she'll be able to use her voice to help teach others. Let's connect her now to her home planet, that, to that aspect of her that has all of the information. It's done. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, Minaida is very, very aware of the Mandela effect. She's caught a few glitches. Why is it that she's been chosen to be the one to wake up all of these, to make them aware? Because she has so much knowledge. Mm -hmm. She needs to share that knowledge. Mm -hmm. And what type of forum should she be using to share this knowledge? Retreats, mm -hmm. workshops. Very good. 
Can I ask also for Gabriel's assistance on that one so that she would, will be able to have successful retreats? Yes. So that she could be financially secure by the age of 50. Yes. Very good. <clears throat> Who is this black ghost cat in her life? Who is that? That was a cat that Odelia used to have. Mm -hmm. So that's Odelia's cat? Mm hmm So why did that cat follow the soul of Odelia? What does that cat do for Manida in this lifetime? Protect her. Protect her. She still he still protects her. Very good. Does he have a name? Shadow. Shadow. Very good. And she's been told that her spirit animal is a Bengal tiger. Does she have any other spirit animals? She has an owl. Mm -hmm. A white owl. Mm -hmm. A white owl. And what does the white owl do for her? Keeps learning. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I'd like to ask if Dad has anything else say to Manida today. Live your life happy. Don't worry about me. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I'd like to ask the Higher Self if there's anything else that you would like to tell Manida in closing. Keep doing yoga. Keep doing meditation. Daily practice is key to keep your focus. Weekly fasting will also help to not allow anyone else to tell you otherwise. You know what works for you. Go your way. Always. Because you know what you know. Trust your instincts. Your instincts will never fail you. Very good. Thank you so much. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Oh my God! Hey, <laughs> how do you feel? <laughs> wow, we went all over the place. Really? What do you remember? Not much. Not much. What do you remember? I <laughs> uh, remember my dad. Mm -hmm. And that's it? <laughs> um, um, that's it? The seagull? The seagull. Good. Everything else was kind of a blur. How long do you feel you were on this journey? Uh. 30 minutes. Mm, an hour and 48 minutes. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing, right? Yeah, it is. So we did it. We did. Give me a hug here. Mm. <laughs> so tell everybody why you came here. I came here because I had um, different um, questions about my spiritual path mm -hmm. um, and some things that didn't have any resolution in this current life mm -hmm. so I was looking for more clarification about it and I'm, although I don't remember mo most of it <laughs> Alva says that it was very interesting <laughs> so how do you feel I feel a little bit dizzy but mm -hmm. these are actually really helping yeah the Shungai, the Shungai. Mm -hmm. yeah because mm -hmm. you were flying high oh yeah 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 I don't remember much of it <laughs> so you've been hypnotized before mm -hmm. what was the difference between that and this now this was a little bit more um, 
deep, I think, mm -hmm. because I, you know, the other one, the previous one that I did, it was not as um, thorough. Mm -hmm. You know, even though I did tap into several lifetimes, um, I don't remember much of this one. Whereas with the other one, I did remember mm -hmm. what I was going through. So I don't know if there's a difference about that. Well, what I tell everybody mm -hmm. is hypnosis is kind of like riding a bicycle. The first time you rode a bicycle, you had to learn how to balance, mm -hmm. right? And now every time you ride a bicycle, you know how, okay? Right. Hypnosis is kind of the same way. <clears throat> the first time you're hypnotized, it's, you're not sure what's going to happen. But here you came, you say, yeah, I've already been hypnotized, I know. And you immediately... Right. You immediately went in. Yeah, yeah. I easy. told you, yeah, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> we, had, we had very interesting things happen. Um, do you feel like coughing anymore? No. Mm. That is so weird, right? Yeah. That is so weird. And yeah. all of a sudden, you know, was I coughing before? Yeah, you were coughing here. Oh, but here too? No. When I came here? Mm -mm. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Well, you'll find out yeah. why. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Lewis. <laughs> oh, shoot. Names so, and all, huh? Names and all. Wow. So uh, that's what happens when you're in hypnosis. You learn. It's, 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 it's just a, a different, it's an altered state. So you were very easily able to get into that altered state right. to get to what we need to do. So would you recommend this to other people? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And so what is it that you do to help other people? Tell everybody yeah. what you do. Well, I walked away from a 20-year career in clinical research to become a, um, a teacher and a healer. I'm a licensed massage therapist. I'm a mm. Reiki master. And I certify people to become Reiki masters themselves. And I, I'm also a yoga therapist and instructor. Um, my business is um, called Holistic Quarters of Lakeland in Lakeland, Florida. And, um, yeah, that's yeah. wonderful. So for all of you out there that are looking to do Reiki and mm -hmm. learn, Manita here is... I am. Is, is, uh, now, can you have to do this with the people there? This is a center they come to you? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Is there anything that you do that you could do remotely? Do Not yet, but it's, we are in plans of doing that because I just um, um, applied to become a continuing education provider. Um, so a lot of these things are actually eventually going to be going um, uh, via online. Good. So, good. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Good. It's one of the plans. Good, good. Do you have a website? Or? I have a website. It's www.holisticquarters.com. Good, and we'll, we'll put that there. Yes. Terrific. Well, in order for you to have a session with me, just go to albawyman.com. And you'll have to sign up. <laughs> you'll have to sign up for my newsletter. And uh, I put it out about once a month. And there I will give you the openings that I have throughout the world. I travel around the world. So if there's any openings, you get that newsletter, you sign up immediately. Because there's many, many, many people out there who get the newsletter too. Is that how you found I it? I waited six months to see her. <laughs> Was it worth it? <laughs> totally worth it. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this, this session like I did, and I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching. Please. Bye. <laughs> Give me that big hug.